I meal prepped these lemon garlic turkey bowls in about 45 minutes today. They've got ground turkey, roasted potatoes, broccoli, and a side of tzatziki sauce. Every so often I'll have a week where the absolute last thing I want to do is spend even one second in the kitchen. This was one of those weeks, but I know I need to feed myself and if I meal prep my lunches, it will save future me from having to eat two whole cantaloupes for a meal like I did the other day. Now let's get this over with. Off we go. Let's get the potatoes in the oven first, so preheat your oven to 425 Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius. Take three medium-sized russet potatoes or 700 grams and cut them into bite-sized pieces. My preference is to cut them into thinly sliced quarter moons because it gives more surface area for browning which will bring more flavor to the final dish. You cut them however you want though, I'm not your father, just make sure they brown otherwise they won't taste as good. Transfer those cut potatoes over into a large bowl and drizzle in one half of a tablespoon or eight grams of oil and season with salt and pepper to your liking. Toss those potatoes to distribute the oil and the seasonings evenly. Next, get out a large sheet pan and spray it lightly with some oil. Make sure that this pan is big enough for the potatoes to spread out in a single layer and have some space between them. This will help them to brown instead of steam. Spread the potatoes out on the pan and roast at 425 Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius until they have browned to your liking. This should be about 20 minutes with the flip halfway through. Now get the broccoli going. You'll need one pound or 454 grams of broccoli. I'm using frozen for ease since it's already cut up and washed. Lightly spray another sheet pan with some oil and spread the broccoli out on top. The smaller the florets are here, the easier they are to make cohesive with the rest of the dish. I usually buy the baby florets from HEB, but I grabbed this bag from Whole Foods and look at these, they might as well be redwood trees, they're gigantic and it was making me blood red mad, but we'll fix this later. Spray the tops with a bit more oil, then roast them in the same oven with the potatoes for about 20 minutes as well. If you use fresh broccoli, it probably won't take as long. Next up, grate five to six cloves or 20 grams of fresh garlic, and then grab the zest off the outside of one lemon. You'll want about a tablespoon's worth or five grams of lemon zest. Make sure you are just getting the outer yellow layer and not going too deep to the more bitter white portion of the lemon. Once zested, cut the lemon in half and squeeze the juice out of it. You'll need a fourth of a cup or 60 grams of lemon juice. Your potatoes will be ready to flip at some point around here, so pull the tray from the oven and mix them around to brown the other side. Put them back into the oven for another 5-10 to 10 minutes or until they have finished cooking. The same goes for the broccoli. Remove it from the oven to toss it around, and now that it's thawed a bit, I'm going to take a knife to the pieces to cut them up into smaller, more manageable sizes. They will also take to some seasoning a bit easier now that they aren't frozen, so I'll give them a light sprinkling of salt and pepper before returning the pan to the oven to finish cooking. The last bit of cooking you'll need to do is to brown up the turkey. Heat a large skillet over medium high heat and add in 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of oil. Lay in 2 pounds or 908 grams of 93% lean ground turkey or ground chicken and spread it across the bottom of the pan. Just like with the potatoes, achieving optimal browning on this meat is important to the flavoring of the final dish. Brown equals flavor. If you don't break up the meat right away and give it some time to work a little magic, it will be easier to get some of that color you desire. My skillet is too big for this shitbag induction burner, so I only get good heat in the center, but this brown color in the middle is what you are looking for. The duller gray meat along the outside of the pan where it was too cold is not what you want. While the meat is finishing up, get some rice ready to add. Day old rice is best because it's a bit drier, but I didn't have any on hand so I'm going to use frozen rice instead. It just needs to be heated up in the microwave for a bit so it doesn't cool down the pan too much when it gets added. Continue cooking this meat until it's about 90% of the way finished and then add in the garlic and stir it around until it becomes fragrant. Grated garlic is prone to burning so make sure you don't let it sit over the heat for too long and keep it moving. Then you can add in 2 cups or 300 grams of cooked rice, as well as 2 teaspoons or 2 grams of dried oregano, 1 teaspoon or 3 grams of dried coriander, 2 teaspoons or 6 grams of onion powder, and 1 fourth of a cup or 60 grams of lemon juice. You'll also want to add the 1 tablespoon or 5 grams of lemon zest at this point, which I completely forgot about because I am king of the dunces. Give everything a big stir to mix the seasonings and the lemon zest into the meat and rice, and then you can dump in the broccoli and potatoes to finish it off. Stir everything together until it's well incorporated, taste test, and adjust flavors with salt and pepper to meet your preferences. Lastly, I like to serve this meal with a side of tzatziki sauce. I bought a tub of it from the store because as I mentioned at the start of this video, I don't want to spend any extra time in the kitchen this week and pre-made is just fine with me. I added 2 tablespoons or 30 grams to 5 metal ramekins to include with each meal. This recipe is going to make 5 servings, so lay out 5 meal prep containers and divide the contents of the skillet evenly between the 5. 5 days is the most I would recommend prepping any meal for if you're going to be keeping it in the fridge. In terms of optimal freshness, I think it would be ideal to prep for 3 days at a time, but that would require you to cook more frequently throughout the week. While the freshness of the meals on day 4 and 5 is starting to decline, it's still worth it to me to only have to cook once. Anything after 5 days is where the cutoff lays for me. Once divided, you can create some space in the corner and add a metal ramekin to each. Each serving of these lemon garlic turkey bowls has around 613 calories with 43 grams of protein. 
If you aren't a tzatziki fan, hummus would be another good option on the side. Once the meals have cooled a bit, put the lids on top and move them into the fridge for the week. Then when lunchtime rolls around, grab a meal out of the fridge and make sure you remember to remove that metal ramekin before microwaving or else you may cause an explosion that gets mistaken for the beginning of World War III. There are a lot of things that I like that meal prep brings to my life, but I think my favorite thing it does is that it makes my life easier come meal times. When I need a meal in the middle of the workday or when I get home from the gym, it's awesome to open the fridge and have something sitting there ready for me that I don't need to put any effort into. It saves me from having to prepare something else four other times a week, and it takes any decision fatigue out of that equation. When I don't have food prepped, I'll find myself opening the fridge, then moving to the pantry, then checking the freezer to see what there is for me to eat. Many times I'll get caught in this loop until I give up and just eat something that doesn't even sound very good. When I meal prep at the beginning of the week, this doesn't happen because I open the fridge and I already have something ready for me to go. That is something that I put a lot of value in. The full recipe with ingredients and instructions for how to make these lemon garlic turkey bowls is on my website and that's linked in the description below. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and if you don't, my boss is going to brutally assault me. Goodbye.